Hello guys, how are we doing? Welcome back to the Free Hammers. Uh, sorry it's a day late, but uh, this is my review of the Wimbledon versus West Ham game last night that finished free one to us. We finally got our first win of the season, um, but didn't we make it hard? It was hard work. It was a very, very um, tense game in the first half, just missing chance after chance, and they were blocking shots off the line. Um, it was tough. It was a tough old afternoon. We, as always, I, I was watching a few of the West Ham fan TV interviews. I think it was Marshy or Baz that said it. We always make it hard for ourselves, those games. We, we never like just turn up, 3 4 nil, nice, relax. All the fans have a good time. They have to, West Ham have to make a tense for us. Um, we lined up Vadrin in goal, Zabaleta, Diop, Ogbonna, Cresswell, Obiang, Rice, Yarmolenko, Perez, Snodgrass, and Hernandez. Uh, so, sort of a lineup that we sort of predicted, you know. It was nice to see Holland on the bench as well. Colin on the bench, they didn't get any minutes, but, uh, you know, just to see it, nice to see him around the match day squad. Um, as the game kicked off, I actually said to uh, my dad and my brother in law, who was watching at the time, I said, I just want a nice, boring 1 0 West Ham win, just so there's confidence and no dramas. But, two minutes in. They get a corner, in comes the ball. Uh, Pigger absolutely bullies up Bono, who had an absolute howl over the game, who was shocking yesterday. Um, heads it in past Adrian, who got a hand to it, but just the pure power of the header beat Adrian. And it was 1 0, two minutes in, and um, yeah, and it was already like nervous. Oh my god, what is going to happen? Um, first half, like I say, missed chance after chance after chance. I remember Yamalenko having one, went over the bar, Obiang sort of. Went for a side foot when he should have just smashed it. Snodgrass had one. There was a Yarmolenko header, I think, back post that was cleared off the line. Um, yeah, they were defending like dogs. Um, a point that we thought would change the game. Uh, McDonald got sent off for a second bucket ball very early in. I think it was about the 22nd minute uh, foul Snodgrass. And at no point during that game, to be honest, until sort of maybe the last sort of 15 minutes, did it look like West Ham had an extra man. Um, couldn't break them down. Very sloppy in possession in that first half. And just that killer pass wasn't there. I don't know why we was crossing it in high either when uh, you had Hernandez and Perez there that just, yeah, they just, they're not big enough against these big, you know, these League One sort of defenders that are used to the bullying and the fighting in the box. And uh, they certainly weren't. Uh, Perez was poor for me. Obiang was very poor, uh, well off the pace uh, with the passing, etc. Um, yeah, Yarmolenko looked good. He was definitely blowing uh, towards the sort of start of the second half, but he did manage a 90 minutes. Uh, some people are still giving him criticism. You know, I think we will see the best of him when he gets fit. You know, he's still a few weeks away, I think, from the fitness. I think he's still holding back a little bit. Some of his decision making, you know, passing off a little bit off, but apart from that, you know, I thought he did very, very well. Um, second half started, guys, and sort of the game. Sort of changer came on, you know. He he was mixing it up a bit. It was Anderson? He came on for Obiang. You know, he was doing some direct runs. He was linking the play quite nicely. And um, again, that we it, it, it took us time. Sixty um, third minute, finally, you know, it wasn't working. The crosses wasn't working. So someone Diop of all people, centre half, decided to absolutely smash one in from about twenty twenty five yards. Lovely daisy cut up, uh, just sort of off the top of the grass. Uh, goalkeeper possibly should have saved it, but again, fantastic goal for him and uh, a good debut for uh, Diop as well. And he nearly had a second about two, three minutes later with a header off the bar, which was harder to miss. So he's very unlucky there. Um, 83rd minute, we sort of went ahead. Uh, Ogbonna, I think it was either a corner or a cross coming in and he sort of had a nice tap in at the back, which sort of was, you know, he just made up for his fault early on in the game because he had an absolute howler of a game. Um, and then the last minute, Masawaku came on, he um, done a few little tricks, played uh, Chikorito in, he went round the defender, round the goalkeeper, he did his best to miss it though, um, sort of rolled in, rolled in, rolled in, rolled in, but you know, he gets his first goal of the season, uh, again he wasn't the best of games, he always seemed to be just off or just missing it or back to goal, but um, we go through, we're still in the hat, um, there's still a lot of work to be done, there's still, um, still working out what his best... Um, team is. I thought Rice was excellent today as well. Uh, yesterday, sorry. Uh, good to see Cresswell back, you know, good, solid, was linking play. So sometimes I just want to see him, you know, go on and try and take some players on. He's got a bit, he's got pace, but he always sort of seems to get to a point, just past the halfway line and he stops and looks for a pass. Like, 
go with a friend, you know, you've got it in your lock up. Um, but yeah, good to see us win. Draws on Thursday. So uh, hopefully we can avoid the big teams and just go on a little bit of a run, you know. So please don't let us draw Man United as always or Arsenal or your Spurs. Not yet, you know. We'll, we'll have Spurs in the semis or the quarterfinals, you know, not just yet. Um, yeah, that's it for the review, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you've got any questions for the podcast, drop them in. We're filming on Thursday night. So get it in. It's nice to be back because obviously it's been busy, busy, busy. Until then, guys, come on your minds. Keep believing. Let's go.